Giving giving all praises, honors and glories unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that told me this truth that rule well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Paya. You know, as you can see here, this is a video that's due going into certain Twitter tweets and uh, um, headlines of what's what's been going on lately. You know, even starting with the weather, with these uh, different hurricanes and tornado storms hitting down South Florida, you know, to a Category 5, 175 miles per hour winds, right? Which, we know that this, this, this government has uh, weather modification weapons from the military, you know? which can destroy lands, destroy other countries, and make it seem like it was a natural disaster, which but ultimately is the Lord. You know, the Lord said these things was going to happen. He was going to visit the earth, right? As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's go into that real quick first in the book of I, no, St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. I start at 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right? It's the beginning of sorrows. You know? And then you had the, the you know, this con you've been hearing more about the, the retaliations with Israel and Iran, which is the modern day Persians. Which Israel, with their attacks, is, is is drawing them out. All these other um, you know, Muslim countries, if you will, joining together with Russia, China, which Russia is going to be a god unto them. So those these are wars and rumors of wars. You know, with with, with Tel Aviv getting attacked, and these are the beginning of sorrows, and then they sending. NATO troops, you know, also Macron, he's, he's, you know, not with it to fight, so that's the, 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 the ten toes, partly clay, partly iron, America's allies, they're like, yo, like, we don't want no parts of this no more, you know, so you had the Brexit, so, but then you have here, American Water Works providing water to more than 14 million people hit by cyber attacks, and that that causes droughts, you know, on top of uh, on top of the, the strikes. They said it's going to be extended until uh, January 2025. So things are gonna um, prices are gonna skyrocket from 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 now to then. When we October, November, December, January, three months, you know. So you got to keep in mind, too, you know, that's going to cause more panic buying, less products, causing what? Civil disorder. You see? And you could go a while, I'd say a week or, or maybe a couple days after, you know, without eating. But if you can't drink water, and there's a cyber attack on the energy or whatever, and there's no production, people taking all the water, you know? Then... Oh, it's gonna cause chaos, man. You know, neighbors fighting against neighbors for the lack of bread. You know, that's that's second. That's just the 15th chapter and the 16th chapter, right? So all of these, all all these we see, and that's judgment from the Lord with the weather. You know, the Hurricane Milton, extremely powerful Category Five storm. 
had become one of the strongest hurricanes ever recorded with maximum sustained winds of 180 miles per hour. Damn. So, earthquakes in diverse places, different storms, you know, animals leaving their habitats, dying offshore, all these different volca volcanic eruptions, right? You see? So-called wildfires. I say so-called because it's not, not it, it, it just didn't happen naturally. Nevertheless, like I said, the Lord is orchestrating all of this, regardless. All right? Explosions heard over Tel Aviv following the launch of missiles from Lebanon, and that's the Lord in Zephaniah, the, thir uh, the third chapter. You know, Joel, the, the third chapter, the second chapter. How he's gathering the nations over there in the Middle East. You know? And we're seeing that happen. We're happening right before our eyes. Because John the Revelator said, what? The second world is passed. And behold, the third world coming quickly. It says the UK has withdrawn the families of its embassy staff working in Israel. So you're going to see a lot of different splits as well. You know? Um, update more Russian weapons deliveries to Iran, right? So all of this is prophetic, right? Ezekiel the 38th chapter, you know? But, um, let's get another scripture. I want to get in the book of Second Ushers. Chapter. Let's go to. Second Ushers 16 and 17. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? Right? Because I just saw the visions of what's happening. The beginning of sorrows. And great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Which is what? Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. You know? How we know the Lord's able to be found? Well, the word's still going out. Men are still out there preaching prophesying in the true name and in the true doctrine, doing these lessons, right? The Lord has his hand stretched out still, you know? And with all these different plagues and, you know, droughts and death, hey, the Lord did this before, he changed not. You know, look at ancient Egypt, you know? With all of that, people still won't believe, and that's why... Uh, major judgment is, is is happening you know behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as as scourges for an amendment right uh, but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be be mindful so like it, nor be always mindful of the scourges, and this is judgment from the Lord. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's keep. Hold on, we could jump. We could. We're gonna jump back to this, but I want to get another scripture real quick. In the book of Job, chapter nineteen, and verse twenty-nine, it says, "Hold on." It says, Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishment of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment. You know, so the Lord is visiting this place as before. You know, the Lord is visiting this place through, through prophecies. You know, and he did that plenty of times. 
with um you know with different prophets matter of fact let me see something real quick second that's just 15 let's go to 11 real quick Second Nudges 15 and 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Right? So there you go. So Lord, the same thing he did in these ancient times, uh, uh, he's going to do it now. Even greater, because it tells you in Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. In other words, it's going to be a time like like never before in these latter days this is the last captivity with these different wicked kings to rule on the earth before the second coming of Yahweh Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring upon it you know they that till the ground shall mourn for their sea shall fail throughout the blastings and hail and with the fearful consolation so let's go back down so yeah there you go you know these are all plagues and judgments that the Lord is, 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 is bringing upon this place but these people are not considering that's why they're going to get caught like a thief in the night you see? Anyway. Um, anyway, with that, straight to the point. Uh, you can also read St. Mark, the 13th chapter, St. Luke, the 12th chapter, and the 21st chapter. You know, going into these things. So with that, Shalom.